hello students uh, let's continue our discussion with respect to exception handling so earlier in the previous videos we have discussed about the try and catch block followed by throw statement right uh, try which is used to monitor all the possible uh, exceptions whereas as when the exception is caught control will change the path it change its location from try block corresponding statement towards the current appropriate catch block where the necessary action will be taken so if you <coughs> have the mechanism of exception handling in your program program can be terminated normally even though uh, an error cost error in the sense runtime exception cost then um, through which is used to raise the exception manually uh, in the previous session uh, in the previous video we have discussed about uh, uh, how to generate the exception manually with the help of the through keyword isn't it you re uh, refer refer to my previous video then uh, moving on to the next topic throws so please don't get confused between throw and throws both of them are statements only throw is used is a uh, statement which is used to raise the exception manually at any moment or at any interval in the program normally it is used inside the try block where throws which list out the method as well as it is it is used along with the method where the method can possibly throw any kind of the exception okay let us see how how to do this so please remember it is used along with the method where a method can throw all the possible exceptions so uh, the syntax of throws which is given here let me highlight it with the content so method will be having a return type it will be having a name then it will be having a parameter list optional followed by see this method can throw any number of exception please and try to understand any number of exception it can throw so throws you can have the list of all the possible exceptions okay that the method may throw here you have to list out the types of the exception check the point see, exception list sorry then here is the body of the since it's, it's a method you have to define the body of the method okay let us see the small program for this so check the program carefully it is there at page number uh, better note down the program from the pdf it is 2.147 and 2.248 from the pdf okay and page number according to the textbook excluding that uh, index content and all so 215 214 and 215 concept of throws are explained here okay so <coughs> here is a demo program class throws demo okay just go through the content we have used a throw keyword uh, it is similar to the our to our previous discussion where uh, throw one is a method which can uh, throw the new illegal access exception as per this statement okay let's try to understand this and uh, it, it will be having optional name description that is demo okay now we have to consider the main function one more class module is taken right <coughs> sorry main function is uh, main function is taken sorry so mm, uh, concentrate here what is done we did not consider any try block over okay uh, so the correct version of the program using a throws keyword actually this uh, throw one throw one is a method we are which causes the exception the actual method or the correct way of writing that uh, method is uh, given here the entire program is rewritten this is the correct version of the program as you can see so let it be static or whatever static if you declare uh, function as static then please recall if it is static without creating the object you can have access to it isn't it throw one possibly it can throw an exception see what type of exception it can throw the one which we have listed earlier illegal access exception okay fine and body of the throw one method 
that is uh, system.out.println inside throw one we are printing then we are going to create we are going to raise the exception manually with the help of the keyword what is the keyword you have to use you are supposed to use the keyword throw to raise the exception manually use the keyword throw then create the object of the exception class so which exception class object you are supposed to create illegal access exception class remember illegal access exception it's a built-in class which is the parent for this parent is exception for exception who is the parent throwable is the parent refer to my previous videos you will understand uh, these are all the built-in classes under java.lang okay java.lang.exception will be the parent class for this illegal access exception so we are going to create the build object of the particular type object is created and string name okay it is given that is nothing but demo which i am highlighting fine <coughs> then there should be a main function so main function check here now it monitors the possibility of exception from try block you are making a call for the function please remember no need of having the object since the method is defined as static earlier we would, we would have to create an object of the so and so class and uh, we have we, we, we have done the accessing but now since main function is included in the same module and throw method is declared as a static so no need of creating the object just make a call for the method what is the method name check what is the method name method name is throw one so make a call for throw one okay in, in please remember please try to understand it is included inside the try block so what will happen from here control will change its path it will look into the body of throw one so what it does it will print the message system dot in out dot print ln inside throw one that will be printed inside throw one will be printed soon after that what is the next statement next statement is executed next execution of the next statement is nothing but rising the exception manually right throw new illegal access exception followed by demo once exception is raised by this step what it will do it will since it will raise the exception so it will uh, look for the corresponding catch block check for corresponding catch block whether it is available of course it is available available for illegal access exception so type is also the also same thing that is illegal access exception only so we have a corresponding catch block for that you have to handle the exception what handling the exception is nothing but taking the appropriate action caught is the message displayed followed by exception type this is optional okay for your reference purpose we are going to print the exception message as well so that's what you can uh, see so inside throw one is printed first followed by caught is printed the message okay this message is printed followed by optional value value of e will be printed that is java dot lang dot what is the type name of the exception will be printed illegal access exception fine this is what the output okay and uh, string we have given that is demo if you have not if you are not giving anything then nothing will be printed in front of it otherwise it will print the name of the exception optional value you have given as a string value that is demo you have given no? that will be printed please remember throw is used to raise the exception manually normally with the help of the throw keyword we are going to create the object of the exception class built in type which raises the exception manually okay and throws which is used to used along with the method where a method can possibly throw the different kind of exceptions that's it see method throw one which can which is possibly throwing the type of the exception what is the type of the exception i am highlighting here see which can throw the illegal access exception static word throw throw one it can possibly throw the illegal access exception please remember you can list out them by separate by using the separator comma you can list out multiple type of exceptions like illegal access exception array index out of bound exception then uh, the one arithmetic exception so, right those things we have discussed in the earlier session so even you can include those things as well by using comma as the separator okay the next topic next topic will be finally block 
ok that is the last topic from exception handling module let us see them in the next video thanks for watching